beautiful up here. So I'm going to cover half the screen with my so, body while I talk. Any idea where we are? I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. So do you want to go back? I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this. We situation. can't ask that. Well, you should be. Digging my sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen This man is not a problem solver. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps a lot of people in uh, video games place. aren't. Or dramas it's in general. It's hard to make out from here. Because it makes a lot of writing harder when you have someone who just thinks like a problem well. solver. Proceed as you wish, Dust. So, one artifice of lazy writing is that no one is practical. If you real, if you start thinking, think, kind of realizing that in a story or anything, that's probably the easiest way to tell that. Yep, it's not going to be that great. And I will honestly say, though the story is well executed and the art in this game is amazing, that's probably the best part of this game is the artwork in it. Uh, the artwork is really beautiful to watch. the 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 maps are really lovingly detailed and crafted. The level design, in my opinion, is really good. Even if a lot of it is sort of, you know, kind of general things you see in a lot of 2D platformers. Uh, it's just the art design of everything. And, you know, it's it it's not like a... It's not this utterly linear, boring, battlefield, single-player snooze fest. Every time I play a battlefield single-player, I just want to, like, drink Torino. Especially Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3 just felt awful and boring. Peace. One second. Alright, so we've been smacking on these guys for a while, and uh, they're not too interesting to fight, you pretty much just, as long as you pay attention to everyone, they can't really hurt you. Anyone left? I need not to be thinking about whether anyone's actually around me or not. Especially with the magical homing super ball attack of death. Alright. Every time I want to upgrade my attack, upgrading my fidget just looks more appealing. I'm just going to upgrade fidget first. Heck with it. It's just so easy. And so fun to watch. There's stuff here. Oh. Okay, so bad guys will respawn, so it's possible to grind infinitely. I had a little technical issue. For whatever reason, Skype was uh, taking my uh, taking my game inputs as. Uh, something to be typed in. Actually, let me make double sure that that's not the case anymore. And we're back. Any more issues? Ah! Except for my own foolishness. Oh yeah! You get a bigger hit chain from that. It's just like no real point on it. If you look at it from a totally practical basis, there honestly isn't a whole lot of point to doing like the physical attacks or focusing on them. But this game, again, does not make you economize a whole lot, so you don't have to be too practical. Uh, just do what you want to do, really. Which I guess this is kind of cool on its own, but it's kind of just the flaws of the game coming together that makes some, something that's not a flaw. It's weird how that sometimes happens. Hmm. 
There's a save in here. There it is. Now that we've got these two keys, I want to save here again. And I want to get some food in me so I don't die. Guess we'll eat the cupcake because it's less uh, valuable. And we'll switch to the chicken. Uh, now that we've got... Now that we got plenty of them. You get one every time you destroy one of those breakable walls, like, pretty much 100% of the time. Another thing, aerial dust storm. I know you get that. There's a little circle here, so. See, now the game is just not even a challenge anymore. Or at least the fighting here isn't. It's honestly hard. I, I feel like this game makes it pretty difficult to make any of the fights a challenge. Honestly, um, with hardcore, that's when the fights just begin to get to the challenge where I think they should be like the whole game. Like on normal. And, uh... It also- but it makes the platforming sequences just totally brutal. What I would do is, if I could go back in time and make a request to the designers, it'd be to up the difficulty. Not necessarily reduce the difficulty for the platforming, because it's good that it's challenging, but upgrade the difficulty of the fights and all the difficulty forms. So, if I recall correctly, there's like these little propeller fruit things you have to guide in here with a dust storm. First, let's see what's in here. Those are never really any challenge. Is that oh, nice. Is there somebody in there? Ah, whatever it is, it's got glowing evil eyes of evil. Dear, you your eyes glow. Need. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. For money. I wasn't frightened. Just surprised at the uh, savings. Come on, let's talk to him. I'm be honest, you're pretty freaky yourself. You're one to talk. Reptile tailed cat you, stranger. Bat. Who are you? Merely a friend with many wares for sale. Shall we can Why is there business? smoke coming out of your eyes? Okay, that actually is a little freaky. Why would you sharpen your blade with an eggshell and why would it do anything at all? Alright, anyways, yeah, you can get these little augments and such. And armor and so on. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different things you can get. Uh, you, you'll you wind up buying treasure keys later. Once you have just a stupid amount of money, but for now they're way out of our price range. So, And, uh... We're gonna keep all of these cra these ma crafting materials because there's some pretty cool stuff you can make with those. Anyways, um, we're gonna get the basics first. It's usually most efficient to go armor, then augments. 
I don't know why you would buy more than one augment, but okay. Um, I think you get two of these. Let me check. Uh, before you leave, I'm not leaving. But okay. That would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold, you are not prepared for the journey ahead. Uh, I, I have however, a magic sword assistance. that can make tornadoes. Please accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I can offer you materials as well. But yeah, if you're wondering why a merchant is giving us a gift, that is a plot point. I am not from around here, as I'm sure you've guessed by now. Uh, I don't know what's from around here and what isn't, but... Because apparently there's this thing? I will pay and there's like reptile cavemen, and you're like, ah, I don't know, a, a dinosaur. Pride. Pride. I, well, yes, yes, I will. You're a really bad Thank negotiator. You. Watch your back, my friend. Thank you, Fidget. You've shown your use. Totally independent from myself. For once. I am here to serve. Good. Wait, I forgot. Uh, no. Your transaction. Thank. There's no transactions are most appreciated. All right. That augment actually gives us as much as we expect from a level up. Okay, back. So we can get two rings. Okay, I was right. So we can make this light chain mail at a blacksmith's. But we will not see a blacksmith for a while, if our if memory serves. I already had a cotton vest. Oh well, I guess I'll sell one of them. Too late to worry about it now. So two rings and an amulet. The amulet's pretty expensive though, so we're gonna wait on that. We ah. just get a cheap one. We already have an amulet though, so we might not even do that. Let's get two of these. Let me make sure I don't have any already. Because that cotton vest thing kind of made me grumpy. No, stop. Ugh. This interface is not intuitive. Right, we have this warp pendant. Time has distorted this pendant. So we got two treasure keys and we got a revival stone left. Revival stone, if you die, it'll instantly uh, bring you back to life. It's pretty nice. Once you die without those, then you just go back to your old save, your last save point. Your trends. Thank. Like I said, this is not a particularly challenging game unless you turn the difficulty up. So, uh, if you're feeling like, if you're really good at platforming, and uh, you're pretty good at uh, just general action games, go for hardcore. Uh, otherwise, start this game off on ah. tough. You might get whacked a little bit and get beat up early, but once you figure out the game, it'll start happening like clockwork. So anyways, yeah, this guy will buy new mats uh, and catalog them for us for money. I guess, you, oh, we would already cataloged it. Okay, so there's no need to sell them now. Switch to sell mode. Alright, so let's sell one of these. New material cataloged. We'll go ahead and keep let them catalog it, one of everything we've got now, even if we have to sell our only one. Because I don't think we have to worry about crafting for a good while. Actually, I might call it here at the next. I might call this Your video at the next save point. The materials you've sold me will be quite useful. I'll attempt to restock them as time goes on. I now that I've seen them once, I can instantly establish a connect to get them. You will save valuable time collecting rarer materials. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. This game sort of hangs a lamp lampshade on how they, a lot of its, a lot of the lazier aspects of it. Uh, and I talk, I've been talking this game down a lot, but it actually is really fun to play. It's just not terrific. It. it I, I have huge expectations when I started seeing the previews for it, and the artwork is just so phenomenal that it just seems like a lot of the game is going to be a disappointment in comparison. 
Really, if, if you want to play a game for its artwork and just how beautifully it'll render things, play this game. You're going to see maps where you're just going to stand, want to just stand there and look at them. They really are that beautiful. And that is not a bad reason to want to play a game at all. Especially since you're going to know you're going to be seeing a lot of it. Just think of it as like a gi super giant portrait that you can just, or landscape that you can walk around. You know, once you start thinking of video games in comparison with other art mediums, you see how really, how spoiled we are. You know, just look at this. This, look at, look at these. This would be decent. All, all this would be decent as a painting. It's just a painting by itself. And that would be considered, that painting would be considered on equal terms with the whole game. Even though, even though there's probably a painting that was made just so they could render this in the game. And there's probably dozens and dozens of them. But those are considered on equal footing. Kind of weird how that works. Alright, I'm going to call it here. Let me know in the comments if you do want to see more of this game. Alright, see you guys later. This is Culture Goblin signing out.